Meet Adam and Kara, your friendly neighborhood kick-ass distance runners. Injuries almost forced them to hang up their spikes, but now they're hungrier than ever and ready to take on the world together. Simba, come on. Come on. Did you wake up, Adam? Yeah. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Come on in. That's like the one thing I think about me people would be surprised is like how aggressive my goals in life are for running. There's so many things I want from the sport. It still is like my passion so much to go and run for the U.S. I want to do something that's memorable there. After last year at World Cross when I finished sixth, I knew that I was capable of doing that and it just comes down to uh, things falling into place and continually training and never giving in. Adam is the one person that I like, when things are going great, he's the first person I want to share it with. If we didn't have each other, we probably would have thrown in a towel a long time ago. It's like so fun to see him succeed and... Vice versa. Yeah, yeah. I hope it's vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Just to give you something a little faster, you know, than your race pace. They're both favorites to make the team. You guys ready? Yeah. That's it. Sharon's second fastest ever for you is four minute 10K and she's... Don't let them pass you. Good job. If they have the races that they normally have, they should make it. And they got a lot of goals, a lot of things they want to achieve. And I say we a lot because it is a weird team out there. And I have as much invested in her achieving her goals as she does mine. So we remind ourselves uh, weekly, sometimes daily, how lucky we are. This is oh, Amy Yoder Begley, <laughs> and she and I have raced against each other since we were in the 10th grade. 73, 74, good, right on five minute pace. This is Brett Schoolmeister, good friend, brother-in-law. He moved out here and started training with us in June. 64, 65, 66, about a second fast. I believe we're gonna make it, I believe that. But on the same side, because of everything we've gone through, like. I don't think our careers will be defined on whether or not we make the team. We've done so much great stuff. We've come through so much. So as badly as we want this, like, I refuse to let this define us. Our legacy in the sport will be like how much we fought through stuff and how we stuck around when it was tough and where other people would have stepped aside. So, and Adam, you know, I would say that would be third ranked. He's got a chance at, at getting at least one of them, if not two of them. But he can't slip that far. Kara is more comfortably in the top two in the country. You never know if they're going to move up and if you slip back, so nothing's guaranteed. What was your time on that? Okay, that's it for you today. Those were so good, we're just going to stop right there. Okay, good. <laughs>